So hello guys. So upon checking the comment section on my video about the Android video out solution, so there's a lot of comments and there's a lot of questions about the setup on how to stream using the wobbling adapter on an Android phone that doesn't have a USB 3.1 or the MHL support. So let's start. First, we need this one, the Wobblink adapter. So any kind of adapter will work as long as it is Display Link certified. Then the next one is the HD60 Game Live. So this one is a game capture card. So I already replaced my chip game capture card. This one's five dollars. This one's around twenty to thirty dollars, I guess. I forget the exact price, but it's around two thousand five hundred pesos. And this one's around three hundred pesos only. So I prefer this one actually rather than this one. So this one overheats or it heats up after a while, while this one is not. And it supports 1080p with 60 frames per second. But I doubt that since the quality is not so good. If you have the Elgato option, so I suggest you get that one. And the next requirement will be the our HDMI cord or HDMI cable so that our wobbling can connect to our game capture cards. And lastly, we need an OTG cable. So sadly, I lost my OTG cable since I bought a USB hub, so Vention USB hub to be exact. So this one. So I prefer this hub since it has an external power support with a USB 2.0 external power support and three, I mean four, USB 3.0 port. So it will help the, the battery drain from the Android phone since it will supply the power to this adapter. Then if you already have these items, we're gonna go to the optional items. If you want a better quality, you should get this one. The first one will be our audio splitter. So this one is around one dollar only, one to two dollars. So this one's very cheap. So what is the purpose of this one? This one will be used to split the audio output from the wobbling adapter. So this aux cable will connect to this port, the audio port of the wobbling then this one to this chip splitter and now we have one two three four five ports available so the first port will go to the game capture card of course on the mic port then the second one will go to your earphone if you want dual output one is for recording and one is for monitoring so i prefer this one since it has a real time and good audio quality it's like inserting your earphone directly into the cell phone next one so if you're gonna use this one of course you need the cable the aux cable so what is the purpose of this cable so this cable will connect from this one into your game capture card to the mic port so that the audio will be recorded also directly from this game capture card to that port and that's it you already have internal recording then additional item optional is this one so this one is to eliminate the ground loop issue so there's a ground loop issue when you are using this setup since you are supplying the current or the voltage or whatever it is called from the laptop to the wobbling to the game capture card then to the phone then back to the game capture card because of this one so just buy this one it will improve your audio quality by a notch you can get this one around five dollars only sometimes three dollars four dollars so around 250 pesos on lazada or shopee so how are we going to connect these items to stream so we're gonna move this aside for now so first one is the Wobbling adapter. Connect your HDMI cable to the Wobbling. So when it's connected, this one will go to the game capture card. Into your game capture card. So I'm gonna use the HD60. 
but if you have this one so you can use this one but i prefer this one if you had an elgato as i said earlier use that since elgato is so much better so we're gonna connect this one to the import port short discussion about this so the hd60 supports in and out function in then out pass through if you want to connect to another display or to a tv so you can do that so we're not gonna use this one on our stream setup now we're gonna connect it it's now it's all connected so we need to connect this one to our computer so hd60 comes with a usb 3.0 cable with a USB 3.02 USB adapter so we don't need to use this one I'm just gonna connect it directly into the USB port and into my laptop so I'm gonna set aside that next so how about this one so this one will be connected into our phone so it's already a USB Type-C I'm gonna connect the wab link into this one. Yeah. So before we connect this USB hub into our phone, make sure to connect the power supply first. Just a regular micro USB cable will do. So I got this one. So a Vention also, since I prefer Vention and Ugreen. So connect it to this port. Then we're gonna look for a socket or a power bank also. I'm gonna use the stock charger of my Xiaomi Mi 10T. So I'm gonna connect this one. I'm gonna plug it into my outlet. So it should light up. And there should be some light. Next, we need to connect the cable this one into our phone so zero two so let's see what will happen did you see that it automatically detects the wobbling and the wobbling starts blinking Bonus tip, if you're experiencing some hung issues where the images stop after 5 to 10 minutes, just open the display link presenter up, display link presenter, and lock it into your present. So how we're going to do that? So just open the display link presenter, open your recent, long click, then click the lock icon. Another one, you can do this one also. So search for display link presenter, application info. For the battery saver, put it into non-restriction so that your phone won't kill it during the stream, of course. Now it's time to open the OBS Studio. And so now I'm gonna plush the, my, my laptop screen. I'm gonna create a new scene. So scene two. First, we need to add the source. Add source. Video capture device. Add X. Create new. Then we need to select our easy cap or your game capture card. So I'm gonna open my phone so that there will be some output. So if there's still no output, there's one solution also by connecting and disconnecting the WAB link. So let's disconnect it first. Yeah, I'm gonna cancel it. So one, two, and connect. easy cap and that's it we have an output already 
So we're gonna play some video so that it won't it won't shut down. We're gonna play that one. Then for the resolution, we can just the custom. And let's select our resolution to us. 1080. So we're gonna search for that. 1920 by 1080. Then video format. And select the two. FPS 60. Then OK. So there's a capture already. Next one is we need to add. We need to add the audio source. So to do that, we're gonna click the sources again. So right click, add, audio input capture, audio input capture. So we're gonna use the EasyCap, digital audio interface of the EasyCap. So that is my game capture card. And click OK. As you can see, there's already an audio input capture. So to, mon to monitor that, and I do the properties. Oh, so we're gonna save this first. So the audio capture, we're gonna go to the advanced audio properties. We're gonna monitor that if, if we want to monitor it. So for this demo, we're gonna monitor it. Then close. Check my earphone to speakers. And there have it. We have one audio already. And now we have the desktop audio and the audio input capture here playing. Next, what about if we want to record the internal sound plus we're gonna use the headset. So we need some adapter, this one. We're gonna use this one. So first, we're gonna insert it into the audio port. So as, as you can see, upon inserting the the cable from the audio port, the audio input capture is gone. Next, we're gonna use this one, the noise loop remover or noise loop isolation or ground loop remover. I'm gonna connect this one into our game capture card. next so this aux cable will be used so i'm gonna connect this aux cable to this one in our ground loop then this one will be connected into this one that's it you already have an audio again. So let's stop monitoring it. So monitor up. So let's stop monitoring the audio. Now, if you had an earphone, just connect it into this port. Now you will have an audio in your headphone or earphone and into your internal recording. So in my case I have the I have the HyperX headphone. So I could use this port directly from this one. So there is an audio in here. And let's put it in the speaker.
Next, what about the mic? So, a lot of you guys are asking, there's no in-game mic. So, to fix that, sorry. So, the HyperX already include the splitter cable. So, for one for the audio port and one for the mic port. So, first, we're gonna connect the mic cable or whatever it is the mic jack into the mic port of the wobbling next we're gonna connect the audio into this one then we're going we are gonna connect this one into this one So there's an audio and there's a mic input already. So this will act as a USB audio adapter also, aside from the video adapter. So now we have the audio input capture. So let's try to do some recording. I'm gonna start the record. So so that and start recording. Sister. 